Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a tutorial on this look. I'm pretty excited for today's video because I finally got to play around with the ColourPop Where the Light Is eyeshadow quad. This was created in collaboration with YouTube's sweetheart Kathleen Lights. And she did an absolutely fabulous job of creating these four eyeshadows and naming them and having a hand in designing this beautiful packaging. I think this is the first time I've been this excited about a product in a really long time. I purchased these myself and I paid 20 US dollars, which I think is above and beyond reasonable for four eyeshadows of this quality and size. If you guys have tried ColourPop eyeshadows, you'll know that they're very moussey and soft to the touch, but they blend out to a powdery finish. They're just absolutely beautiful. And today, I thought I would do something a little bit different. Initially, when I got them, I wanted to just cover my whole eyelid in one particular shade called Blaze in here. It is just totally my type of shade. But I wanted to create something unique and special for Kathleen and something that I hadn't seen anybody else do with this quad. We've got sort of a soft cut crease going on and then I took two of the eyeshadows and created like a cream metallic eyeliner. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I really enjoyed filming it and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Kathleen, you've done a bomb job. I love you long time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face and just like my last tutorial, today I'm going to prime it with the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Illuminating Base and this is the yellow one. I'm going to apply this all over my face but then I'm also going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer and I'm just going to hit up those spots on my face where the pores are extra large and extra visible. So on my forehead, next to my nose, on my chin. Whenever I'm too lazy to style my hair, I rock the old Kelly Kapowski greasy wave. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation by MAC and I am in the shade NC20. I also used this in my last tutorial and I have some feedback since then because it's been about 5 days now. This foundation is definitely not high coverage. I'd say it's like a light to medium coverage. You can totally build it up, but if you're looking for that super high coverage foundation, this is definitely not it. Okay, so I have a little bit of an update on this foundation because it's been about two weeks now since I tried it. I have returned it since because it made my pores look gargantuan and you could visibly see the foundation on my skin settling into my pores. As you guys know, I have a pretty oily skin, so the last thing I want is a foundation that's gonna make me look even more oily. Although I'm super oily, I will say it was very very waterproof. I went to the gym and absolutely killed it one night and that shit did not move, but the pros just did not outweigh the cons for me. I don't know how it wears on dry skin. I can only speak for myself, but I would only recommend this for anybody looking for light to medium coverage who basically is poreless. One tip I have for you when you're using this foundation is make sure to wash your foundation brush every two applications because the foundation is waterproof. I have a feeling it dries inside the bristles and then when you apply it to your face those dry bits come out and it makes the foundation look a little bit cakey and I feel like that's kind of happened to me today so just a heads up. For concealer today I'm going to use my new favorite the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Warm and I'm also going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter and this is in Light Boost and it's the yellow one. I'm just going to apply three dots to each side and blend it out with my beauty blender. Pop 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 I'm almost out of my Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder, so instead today I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Buff, and I'm going to be pressing it into my face using my powder puff. And to set my under eye area, I'm going to use a new product I just picked up. This was not a part of my Sephora haul because I literally just picked it up. It is the Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Contour Powder, and this is in the Mirage Filter. I saw Nicole Guerrero using the Light filtering contour powder so I bought the light filtering contour powder. I was super stoked when I swatched this in stores because the powders felt really buttery to the touch. The yellow is just the absolute perfect shade for underneath the eye and I really like the deeper shade because it's kind of like a nice cool tone for contouring. 
Now I'm gonna go off camera and fill in my brows. The other night I was removing my makeup and I legit tore out the first portion of my left eyebrow. I don't know how, I don't know why. I must have just been really aggressively wanting to get that makeup off my face, so that's a thing. So I filled in my brows and I also primed my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and now I'm gonna move on to the eyes, which I'm really stoked about because I'm finally using the ColourPop where the light is eyeshadow quad and this was created in collaboration with Kathleen Lights here on YouTube. I ordered these eyeshadows about a month ago but I sent them to my PO box in the US so it took me a while to get over there and pick them up and when I did it was an absolute nightmare getting back into Canada because the border guard was just being a total B. So this kit here comes with four eyeshadows. Kathleen chose these eyeshadow shades and she named them and I think they're absolutely gorgeous and adorable. The first shade is called Glow and it is a matte sort of bone shade. It's a great shade to put all over the eyelid, on the brow bone. I'm really happy she included a shade like this. The next one is called Cornelius and this is named after her fur baby and this is a really pretty matte brown. I'd say this is the perfect transition shade. I absolutely love that it kind of has peachy undertones. I wouldn't mind finding a lipstick in the shade to be honest. The next shade is probably my favorite out of the four and when I first saw this on Instagram and YouTube it gave me like 10 types of life. This is called Blaze and it is a gorgeous sort of vintage gold shade. It's got a little bit of reflex in it, it's super pigmented, it's beautiful and I just... It's perfection. And last but not least, we've got Kathleen Lights, which is just your true bronze gold shade. This is, again, absolutely gorgeous. It is so pigmented. This, I believe, is very reminiscent of Amber Lights by MAC, and I low-key stalk Kathleen's life, so I know that is her favorite MAC eyeshadow. Hashtag, I'm outside your window. So initially, when I saw these eyeshadows, naturally, I wanted to bathe myself in blaze and I wanted to do like an outer and inner corner with blaze and the center with Kathleen lights and do sort of like that halo effect but I feel like I've done that quite a bit on my channel and that's naturally probably the first thing you would do with those eyeshadows so today I'm just gonna sort of wing it and create something a little bit unique so uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so naturally I'm gonna start with glow and a flat sort of definer brush and I'm going to apply it just underneath my brow hairs on my brow bone and sort of blend it downwards. For some reason, the skin on my brow bone is really dry, so I'm just pressing this into my skin. Next, I'm going to take Cornelius and a fluffy definer brush. This is by True Fiction. It's a dupe of the MAC 217, and I'm going to apply it to my crease and slightly blend it upwards towards my brow, and then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and further define that crease with Cornelius as well. ColourPop eyeshadows, by the way, are a very unique texture. They're kind of like a bouncy, moussey texture, but they apply to a powdery finish, so they look absolutely gorgeous when they're applied wet. Now what I'm gonna do is take that same definer brush and blend that crease shade upwards towards my brow so that it's more of sort of like a gradient effect into my brow and it's not so sharp. So now that I've got the desired effect of that crease shade I'm gonna go back in with glow and using a synthetic art store brush I'm gonna very heavily pack it on the bottom part of my eyelid and I'm gonna clean up that bottom edge of the crease shade so that there's a real sharp distinction between the base of the lid and the crease, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go in super heavy-handed. I want this to be absolutely opaque. So this is how the look is going. So far, so good. Just wanna take a moment to shout out these delicious little bastards. Gardettos, Gardettos, Gardettos. Special request, roasted garlic rye chips. I can't find these in Canada. I get these when I go to the US. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what these are, if you've ever had Chex Mix and you have those little rye crisps inside, your girl is all about that rye crisp life. So I found these bags, which are just the rye crisps, and they are so delicious, and they're packed with chemicals, and they're terrible for you, but... Mmm. 
So like I said, I kind of want to do something different with this look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Kathleen Lights and Blaze. I'm going to make them into an eyeliner and I'm going to start lining the front of my lid with Kathleen Lights and then start lining the middle to the end of my wing with Blaze and sort of blend them into one another and I think it's going to look real bomb. So game face, let's do this. I had to go through my kit to find my MAC Mixing Medium. You can use this for eyeshadows, you can use this to create eyeliners out of eyeshadows, you can use it for pigments, you can use it for glitter, you can use it for anything to basically adhere product to your eyelid. Personally, when I use glitter, I like to use glitter glue, but I think it'll serve its purpose for these eyeshadows because they're very moussey in consistency. So I'm just going to take a very small little dot of that mixing medium, I'm going to dip my fine tipped art store brush in Kathleen Lights and I'm going to slowly start working it until I have sort of like a cream gel eyeliner consistency. I'm going to go do my right eye off camera and come back and do my left eye on camera. Holy shit, this turned out so cool. I'm super stoked with how this is looking so I'm just going to talk about what I'm doing first and then I'm going to zip it so that you can clearly see the detail of what I'm doing. So I did a couple things. First, like I said, I dotted a little bit of the MAC mixing medium on the back of my hand and then I started the front portion of my eyeliner with Kathleen Lights, dipped my art store brush into it, picked up just a bunch of product. You can see there's quite a bit on that brush. Sort of ran it through the mixing medium, created like a gel cream eyeliner. And this is the part where I zip it. I'm just going to apply it to the first half of my lash line. Now I'm pretty much going to do the same thing with Blaze except I'm going to go from the middle all the way to the end and wing out that eyeliner. Now I'm doing the eyeliner a little bit thicker because I'm going to apply false lashes and I don't want the band to completely cover what I've done here. So the mixing medium is kind of what creates the eyeshadow into sort of like a cream and it keeps it in place. Now what I did after that is I added a little bit of detail to that winged eyeliner so I sprayed a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on the back of my hand, massaged my brush through it, picked up some more product, and then I went back in there and added a little bit more detail. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of Kathleen Lights and blend it into Blaze. Now what I've done to this eye to further define those shapes, which I'm going to do to this eye in a second, is I've cleaned off my brush, I've sprayed a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on the back of my hand, I've dipped my brush into Glow, and I've sort of created a creamy, milky consistency on the back of my hand. And with this brush, I'm basically going over top of that lid space where I've applied glow previously and just cleaning up the edge right below that crease. This is going to make a world of a difference because it'll just sharpen everything, clean everything up, and just make the whole eye look pop. So now that I've got the eyeliner situated, I'm going to look down and just let it dry and I'm going to touch up that brow bone with glow. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do with that bottom lash line. Something tells me I want to line it with Cornelius and then just blow it out downwards. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really sure what type of eyelashes I want to use with this look. I have a feeling that I should use something wispy and really easy to apply with a thin band, 
because the last thing I want is to disrupt any of that eyeliner. Pretty much if I mess it up and have to peel the eyelash off, all of that hard work on the eyeliner will have gone to shit. So, okay, so I've decided to go with these eyelashes. They're called Iris and they're by Coco Lashes. I absolutely love this lash style because they're super spaced out and chunky. Because of this, I don't think they're gonna take away from the super dramatic winged eyeliner and they have a really invisible band so they're gonna be really easy to apply and once again, I won't fuck up the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go off camera and apply those and apply my mascara and uh, I'll meet you back here in a sec. All right, so now I've got my eyelashes on. As usual, I'm gonna tilt my head back awkwardly so you can see what they look like. They're very similar to the lashes that I used in my second to last tutorial, the risque style. Iris are just a little bit skinnier and a little bit further spaced out than risque. I'm just all about the chunky spaced out eyelashes. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this Stila eyeliner and it's sort of like a bronze shade, it's actually called bronze and I'm going to run it into my lash line because I feel like it'll pair really well with Kathleen Lights and Blaze. I keep wanting to call that Amber Lights but it's Kathleen Lights. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the face starting with bronzer and for bronzer today I'm going to use a product that used to be my ride or die for about 5 years. I'm not sure if they still make this. It's the Smashbox Fusion Soft Lights in Dusk. This legitimately used to be the only bronzer I ever wore and unlike your typical matte bronzers, this does have a tiny bit of a sheen but it doesn't look shimmery, it doesn't make you look oily, it's just the absolute perfect finish. All of these shades just sort of mix together and I think this was one of the first products I ever reviewed on my website. So I'm just going to hit up the usual spots, my forehead, my temples. I also used to really love hitting up my collarbone with this as well as the titties. Too bad I'm not going anywhere after this. I'm probably gonna wash it off and go to bed because I have to go to work tomorrow and Bay isn't even home to take advantage of this. Although I really do love that yellow shade in the Marc Jacobs contouring palette, I'm still gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Classic Ivory because I just can't not use it. It just perfectly brightens my under eye area. I'm slightly going to contour today and give this contouring shade a little whirl and I'm going to be using the NARS Eda brush. <gasps> what the fuck? Done my contour guys. Just going to blend the shit out of that. Well, there's a first impression. A little bit goes a long ass way. I'm gonna have to clean up below that contour because it looks like a hot damn mess. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender, dip it into that yellow shade, and just press it right below that contour fail. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. So this time around, I'm tapping off the excess on the back of my hand. There we go. And I think while I'm at it, I'm gonna contour my little schnoz a little bit too. Okay, moving on to my cheeks. I think today I'm gonna be using Max Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. This is a very pretty universal shade. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would be gorgeous as a bit of a highlight. Warm Soul reminds me very much of Milani's Luminoso Mineral Blush, and I'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks using my Sephora brush. Initially, I was gonna live life in the fast lane and I really wanted to do a cool toned lip with the warm eye, but on second thought, I'm really digging the way everything looks warm and I think I'm gonna do a very pretty lip. I'm gonna start out by filling my lips in with the Sonia Kashuk Velvety Matte Lip Crayon in Pinky Nude and I just die for this shade. This has been my absolute favorite lip product for about two months now. It is just the absolute perfect, perfect lip color. The Sonia Kashuk lip crayons, by the way, are very similar to the NARS Velvet lip crayons. I think that's what they're called. Anyway, in my opinion, they're an amazing dupe and they're drugstore, so I'm gonna stop talking now and apply the lip color. Ugh, so pretty, it like pisses me off. 
I am the exact same way with really cute animals. When I see an animal so cute, I can't even look at it because it pisses me off. Is anybody else like that or am I just nuts? Okay, on second thought, I don't think I'm going to use any gloss with this. I think I just want the lip to be completely matte, but I am going to find a lighter shade to place in the very center of my lips, so I'm going to go grab that now. Okay, I have another drugstore product to share with you guys. I found these at Fred Meyer in the U.S. because in Canada, our Essence Cosmetics section is very limited. You can really only find it at Shoppers Drug Mart, and we have the absolute dinkiest little section at the very end of a mysterious aisle. So I found these at Fred Meyer. These are the Essence XXXL Long Lasting Lip Glosses and these are matte. I grabbed three of them. Soft Nude, Coral Mousse, and Velvet Rose. I think today I'm going to use Velvet Rose but I want to swatch them to show you because they're just so freaking beautiful. So here we've got Velvet Rose, Coral Mousse, and Soft Nude. I wouldn't say these are too long lasting, I mean they're alright, but they definitely don't last during eating. The texture of them is very similar to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I don't really mind that they're not long lasting, they're matte and they're beautiful and they smell amazing and I just can't say enough good things about them. So I'm torn between Velvet Rose and the Soft Nude in the center of my lip. I think I'm going to go with Velvet Rose because Soft Nude is actually darker than the color that I have on my lips right now. So I'm just going to pop this right in the center of my lip. There you have it, my sweet little angels. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed filming it and it's an absolute shame that I'm alone at home with nowhere to go. Likely gonna take about 4,000 selfies before I remove my makeup and go to sleep. Anyway, if you haven't already, I would highly recommend picking up these four eyeshadows. Kathleen, congratulations, you've done an amazing job. I absolutely love them. I will be using them on the regular and I couldn't think of a more deserving person than you to have an opportunity like this. I'm gonna zoom you in now so you can get a better look at the makeup. This is my face close up. These are the eyes. P.S. If any of you end up recreating this, make sure to either post it on my Facebook page, tweet me, or post it on your Instagram, and make sure to hashtag the beauty vault. As per usual, all of the products that I used will be listed in the description box along with all of my social media platforms in case you want to drop me a line. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to do more talk through tutorials, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Deuces.